You are listening to From Ring to Veil. I'm Shannon. And I'm Kim. And we are your wedding planning gurus. We take the stress out and put the fun back into wedding planning. Top 7 Wedding Venues Across the U.S. Episode number 193. Please take a second to pause and subscribe to the show anywhere you listen to podcasts. That's Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, anywhere you listen to podcasts. Hey, our timelines and checklists are only $2.99 for a limited time. After the first of the year, we're adding content and the price is going up. So you might want to buy it now at the low, low price of $2.99. Go to fromringtovell.com slash checklist and check them out. We also have our Facebook group that you can join. It's called From Ring to Vell Wedding Planning Community. Answer the two simple little questions and we'll let you in and it'll be a party nonstop. So we found this article on brides.com about wedding venues, their top wedding venues across the United States. And we found our favorites on the list. And so we're going to give you seven of them all across the U.S. So if you want a destination wedding or you live near one of these and want to check them out, go do it. And check out the link on the show notes because the bride, uh, brides.com article has like about 50 of them. So we, we did through there and thought, you know, found our favorites. But if you want more, click that link. It should be right there on the show notes. We're going to start off in Maine, which is one place that I really want to visit one day. Me too. I always thought I would either want to live in Maine or Austin. And I moved to Austin and didn't move to Maine. I've never visited, but I've always, for some reason, been drawn there. So maybe yeah. we should have a girls weekend there or something. So this place is called The Barn at Flanagan Farm in Buxton, Maine. It's a 20-minute drive outside of Portland, and it's meticulously restored to a 19th century barn. And it's open year-round. It's a really beautiful inside. The wood, you can tell it's an old barn, but it's really nice. They've cleaned it up really nicely. I I don't know. It just seems like a, a quaint kind of blank space that you can do whatever you want with it. Yeah. There's rafters and it's wood and there's chandeliers you can hang stuff from. And it's really got that kind of East Coast Cape Codish charm to Mm -hmm. it as well i'm looking at more pictures here (laughs) (laughs) it's really pretty so as i said you can find links to all these places in the show notes so each one of these venues has their own link you can click on it and check it out for yourself um they have a couple actually the walnut hill flanagan farm and they're both similar the next one is the biltmore ballrooms in atlanta georgia this is place is very very ornate yes it has like painted or tiled ceilings and ornate chandeliers and i mean it's just decadent you know it's like that's it's just really really nice and very posh don't you think um it's located in the heart of midtown and it's an historic landmark so that's kind of cool so if you want a historic place to have your wedding Um, It features an ivy line garden with two gilded ballrooms. And let me tell you, they're gilded. (laughs) If that's the look you're going for, this would be perfect. (laughs) They do have beverage and catering catering services. Uh, They have floor plans online if you want to even check that out, which sometimes that can be really, not sometimes, it can be really good if you're trying to plan out the aesthetics of of everything. Mm Mm-hmm. You, you have to pick, you have to check out the pictures online because it, just describing yeah. it does not do du- justice. We can't do justice to the ceilings and the, the gilded columns and the chandeliers. So check it out. All right. Number three on our list, the White Sparrow Barn in Quinlan, Texas. I've not been there. I didn't even know there was a place called Quinlan, Texas. <laughs> yeah. This is gorgeous. I mean, this is a very, very small town. So, I mean, if you want to have that destination, you might check out accommodations and stuff before you go there because Mm -hmm. it's kind of far from a metropolitan area. But um, this barn is just, if you want to have a barn wedding, this would be the ultimate place to have Mm -hmm. it. Just picture a big red barn 
but in but white. white. Yeah. <laughs> Inside and out. It's just gorgeous. It's very mm-hmm. um, light and airy feeling, even just looking at the pictures. Yeah. It's a blank slate. You can do anything with mm-hmm. it. If you want to, I mean, if you want to have a rustic barn wedding, you can do that. If you want to have something more modern, you can even do that in there. Industrial, hey, do it. It's, you can do anything. You can also get married on the garden and then have your reception inside the barn. And and that is just beautiful space. Just trees and green and lights and just everything you can imagine that you would want. They It seems like they've designed it. With a few few pieces of really pretty things in there, mm-hmm. like couches and the banisters, and the it looks like there's an inside um, balcony. Yeah, and the windows just make it light. And- oh yeah, gorgeous. So number four is the Grand Hotel in Mackinac Island, Michigan. This looks like you know in Dirty Dancing how they go off and spend the whole summer at this resort. Mm -hmm. This is like one of those things. Yes. (laughs) It looks just like that. You're like, I know (laughs) everything you need is right there. And I've heard Mackinac Island is gorgeous. And I want to, that's one of the places I really want to visit. I'm not much of a Michigan, you know, want to go to Michigan, but they say Mackinac Island is gorgeous and you should always go. They're calling it a grand hotel. Yeah, the experience at the Grand Hotel. The resort is known for its front porch, which spans the length of nearly two football fields. Uh, Who doesn't like a front porch? (laughs) (laughs) I'm just saying. And it it overlooks Lake Huron, so, you know. And and in the distance, you can see a big, um, a beautiful bridge going across the water there. Yeah, that's the Mackinac Bridge. It's really pretty and, and unique. You can't find this just anywhere. Mm-mm. It kind of looks like a big, like the the White House, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but it's a grand hotel. It's really just, it's really unique. It's kind of hard to explain. Yeah. You have to l- look it up. Click the, click the link there in the show notes and look it up. Beautiful lawns, lots of greenery right there kind of on the water. I mean, fountains. The reception hall looks gorgeous too. Pretty ornate. Mm-hmm horse-drawn carriages how cool is that (laughs) and it looks like they have preferred vendors there also so you can pick their preferred vendors and a wedding coordinator i mean like this is an all-in-one type thing here they have a whole wedding guide for you i mean i imagine during the summer that would just be a really nice place to be right yeah i know not too hot (laughs) right (laughs) not like austin yeah (laughs) but you know, you can go there, you can have everybody just check in and spend a couple of days, do a weekend, and just have a big party. So, All right, so on to number five. If you are looking for a more modern type wedding, this is the perfect place for you. The Four Seasons Hotel in St. Louis, St. Louis, Missouri. And it is a rooftop area. <laughs> it's really, really modern and cool. It overlooks the arch. So, I mean, you can have this wedding out here. There's a pool and you can set your wedding out on this courtyard and overlooks the arch. And it's just gorgeous views. I just, and the Mississippi River is right there, the huge bridge. And I don't know, it's just one of the picturesque, it's a picturesque setting. You wouldn't think, you know, looking Mm -hmm. at the Mississippi River would be picturesque. This is, Of course, it's a body of water. It's, you know, it's Mm -hmm. all American, right? Yeah. (laughs) Oh, and the the rooftop is just awesome. Of course, they have a a big pool there and Mm. and it's just very modern. I love the modern look. If you if you're going to do modern, do Mm -hmm. it modern. You know what I mean? (laughs) Yeah. On their website, they say that you have cho- uh, many choices. That you can choose from one of their thoughtful arrangements that cater to different cultures and religions or custom design your special day with details inspired by our wedding packages. So they have catering on site, of course. Mm. Then, of course, they have the spa. You can have your beauty spa right there. So it looks like they also have on-site vendors. They have a wedding specialist, floral, cakes, menus, of course, spa, Uh, Bridal essentials, request for transportation. So they have a lot of what you need right there in store. There you go. Modern wedding, 
check it out. That's a Four Seasons St. Louis. And I'm sure they have other things to do there that would be pretty fun. <laughs> Although it's a little chilly right now there. It says yeah. the temperature is 37, so. <laughs> Burr. Burr. If you are having that destination wedding, you have to have a wedding website. Use Zola for that wedding website and your registry. It works together. Simple, easy, fun, user-friendly. You can add photos and stories to your website as well as frequently asked questions from your guests. You can incorporate your registry and their registry also includes gift cards to airlines and hotels and all kinds of things. So you can get your honeymoon paid for through this registry. And part of your destination wedding, hopefully. <laughs> and we can we can attest to how easy it is. Shannon and I set up a wedding web uh, website and registry through Zola, and it was super easy. Tons of, of designs to choose from. You can make it all cohesive with your invites to your thank you notes and plus they have tons of top brands if you're going to do the whole registry thing you can choose from KitchenAid, Cuisinart to start your free wedding website or registry on Zola go to Zola.com slash FRTV that's Zola Z-O-L-A dot com slash FRTV number six on our list is the Mission Inn Hotel and Spa in Riverside California this property's Gilded chapels and ornate ballrooms attract couples after old world charm in SoCal. It's like you're going to a Spanish mission. They've got ornate tile work embedded into the building. I mean, it's just gorgeous. A nice, beautiful courtyard. Lots of trees. I mean, like, it looks like if you walk in there, you're stepping back in time. It is certainly a mission style for sure. Yeah. The chapel is exactly what it says a gilded old world chapel it's just beautiful oh it's gorgeous they light up things <laughs> you know me and lights i love it um yeah. it looks like the bushes are lit and there there's icicles hanging on the off of the roof side and it's really beautiful the courtyard is is just gorgeous with the stone columns all the greenery they have a perfect place for the altar it's just gorgeous. They have separate ceremony and reception areas, inside and outside. Chapels, ballrooms, galleries. Of course, it is a spa, so you can always get your spa on while you're there, <laughs> including your guests if they wanted to stay. They have many different choices of ballrooms to have your reception in, as well as the ceremony sites in the different chapels. So there's many places to choose from. So contact them for more info if you want to check the Mission Inn and Hotel, the Mission Inn Hotel and Spa out in Riverside, California. Okay, last but not least, I mean, these were just <laughs> the top seven that we we both agreed that we loved those. Um, is it the Sanctuary on Camelback Mountain in Scottsdale, Arizona. And who, for me, I'm like, Scottsdale, Arizona? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but it is a really pretty place. It's uh, it's luxurious, but also with a more modern twist. They have lush gardens that will make you forget you're in Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> the desert part anyway. Very they have quite a few reception venues, different ballrooms that you can choose from depending on your size. Catering is done by Food Network star and executive chef Bo McMillan, so you'll have Ooh. awesome food. Celebrity chef. How cool is that? Mm -hmm. Three different ceremony sites to choose from. All of them have gorgeous views. And they are all outside, aren't they? Mm -hmm. The ceremony sites? Yes. yes. They have actual destination wedding packages for you so that they can help you plan the whole thing. It's not necessarily for you to have to call a bunch of different vendors and <laughs> figure everything out. Uh, that w even with the complimentary honeymoon suite. Yeah. That's pretty cool. fun. Yeah. So if you are okay with the desert and you want something a little more unique and different, try out the Arizona <laughs> destination area, Sanctuary on Camelback Mountain in Scottsdale, Arizona. So those are the top seven destinations that we decided were the best out of the 50 plus or however yeah. many it was on the brides.com. <laughs> They had quite a few awesome places in there. If you want to look at the rest of them, go to the link with thebrides.com and check them all out. But these are our seven favorite. 
If you are planning on getting married at one of these places or if you've looked at them, we would love to hear about it. Um, email us, info at fromringtovail.com. I was going to say call us, but you can't really do that right now. <laughs> we won't answer. <laughs> Leave us a message. No. You, can, you can message us on Facebook too, of course. Um, or join our Facebook group and uh, let us know there. So we have a listener question. They're planning at a destination wedding. The listener asks, my fiance and I are planning a wedding in central Iowa near Des Moines. We live in northern Iowa, and all of our guests are coming from Omaha, Kansas City, and the Quad Cities, which I don't know what the Quad Cities are in Iowa, so I couldn't tell you that. But anyway, so essentially we are planning a destination wedding since everybody is out of town. We want to have our ceremony more intimate and smaller than our reception, so we're thinking about 100 for the ceremony and 300 for the reception. So anyways, we have set up a wedding website with Zola. Hey! Yay! I bet it was easy. <laughs> You'd probably love it. <laughs> and you can create timelines of events for your guests, and it shows all the details like time and place, etc. So we really want to utilize this feature so that our guests have the time and place of our big events, time for breakfast, the day after, the rehearsal the night before. Is it tacky or inconsiderate to have the ceremony or rehearsal on the website for everybody to view if not being invited? And what would be a good way to have a complete schedule of events without having people showing up for things that they are not invited to? I would have I would prefer to have a basic invitation to cut costs with that and then I know most of the times there are two invites for ceremony and reception are on different pieces of paper and you include the ceremony invitation in the suites that people are invited to both. I guess I'm having trouble with the OCD etiquette on our website and would like to have anything and everything available on the site to view, but don't want to shove it in anybody's face. Okay. (laughs) I would just, if you're going to have it on the website and you're not inviting everybody to this. (sighs) Yeah, that's a hard one because you want everybody that's invited to the reception (sighs) To not necessarily know all the details of the ceremony. Right. See, my problem is that everybody's coming to this destination wedding. Mm Mm-hmm. What I think you should do, I think you're going to have to send out a couple of different... I know you're trying to save money with with the invitations, but I think you're going to have to send out a couple of different ones. Mm -hmm. The ones that are invited to both and the ones that are only invited to the reception. And then only add the details and everything to the website for the people who are coming to both i mean well i mean you can put you know by invitation only on the site on the the ones that aren't that everyone's not being invited to mm -hmm. so just to make sure that they have an invitation for this it's it's kind of tricky because i mean you are inviting all of these people to this destination They're going to find out that, hey, you know, oh, you went to this last night. Why wasn't I invited? Mm -hmm. I don't. (laughs) Yeah, this is really hard and sticky and, and, oh. (laughs) It's hard to find the best way to do this. It's just really the two invitations is important because you can't send out one invitation that says, well, you're not actually invited to the ceremony, but we want you to be there for the reception. You're going to have to do two and you are probably going to have to do them on two different nights, right? Like, or are you going to do this? I, I, you know, it's just like everybody (laughs) coming from the ceremony is going to show up at the reception and the people sitting at the reception are going to be like, what's going on here? Where, where were you guys? Why, why are you still in your wedding dress? You know what I mean? Like it's, (laughs) It's a little hard to do, especially if you're having it on the same day. Yeah. I know we didn't answer your question yes. very well. <laughs> but, I mean, ugh. But you're right. Like, on, on the actual website, for the ceremony portion, you do need to put by, by invitation, invitation only. only. So, like, it, you don't really necessarily want them clicking on things. So, I would say in the title. By invitation only, and then ceremony details or whatever yeah. it is that you're setting up for sure. Mm-hmm. I mean, that would just be one way to try to to keep them from showing up and without an invitation. 
And I imagine on your uh, invitations for the reception only, you have to make it clear that this is the reception only. Ceremony will be done, blah, blah, blah. We're inviting you to the reception here. You can find the details here. Mm. Special link to the certain part of your wedding website. That's for them. Some people are going to be offended. There's just no way about it. You know, they're just going to be offended and they're going to be hurt that you they weren't invited. But it's up to you. I mean, I, I'm assuming you're only having the smaller ceremony because that's all you can really do. And that's kind of all that you want to do. So it's fine if that's what you want to do. Just <laughs> Just know these people are paying to come, you know, to travel, to come to this destination wedding. And they're probably going to have some hurt feelings. Um, that you're going to have to deal with later. That's just life. So we wish you the best of luck. And hopefully we've given you a little bit of direction and maybe a different thought on it that maybe you haven't thought about. Um, a, a different way of thinking about it. Yeah. <sighs> so if you, any of you have any any questions, please email us, info at fromringtobell.com. Join our Facebook group. Ask us there. We're, we're happy to answer anything that you ask. Um if we can, <laughs> sometimes we can, because <laughs> firstly, we're not doctors, we're not psychiatrists, but <laughs> we can give you our best, um, our best advice. Kim and I just want to wish you happy holidays, because, you know, we are going to be taking a little bit of time off for the holidays. That's right. There will not be a new show between the middle of December and the middle of January, but we will come back. I believe it's January 18th is our first show back uh, the next mm-hmm. of the new year. If you have topics that you'd like us to speak about, please let us know. We are always looking for new topics. Something that maybe we need to add more to, let us know. <laughs> Email us or join our Facebook group. If you're getting married in the Seattle area and want to find some awesome, awesome vendors, check out our Seattle Metro Area Wedding Plenty Resource Guide. You can find it on Amazon or you can go to our website and click on the link from ringtavel.com from ringtavel.com slash RG paperback from ringtavel.com slash RG Kindle. So it comes in paperback and Kindle version. If you're looking for some fun uh, swag, either from Ring to Veil or for your bridal party, please check out our swag at fromringtoveil.com slash T-E-E. As always, subscribe to the podcast because it's the easiest way to find us. You'll get updated every time there's a new show out. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, YouTube, iHeartRadio. We even have a skill on Alexa. And until next time, no stress, no worries. Keep calm and listen on. Music provided by bensound.com.